All right, this one's going to be on this uh, script called Tmux Zoom. It's basically a way to toggle your pings uh, to maximize it and unmaximize it uh, back to your original state, right? So I did talk about something like this similar in the past, but that one is not as good as this one, okay? So I'm show you here. Uh, the other one, you can only do like one zoom. This one can do multiple zooms, uh, and that's why I like it better. So show you here. So let's say we have three pings here, and then we'll do something different for all of them. So we'll say we'll use Vim over here, and what else is there? We'll go over here. We'll list some stuff out or whatever. And you can see that you have three different activities, right? The top one is um, my FFmpeg recording, and this one is just a command line, and this one is a Vim over here, right? So if you want to like maximize a single one. Right now we're on the uh, was that the first window, and this one contains uh, three panes. So let's say I want to maximize this one. Um, how would I do that? Well, I just hit my hotkey. My hotkey I assign it to Shift and F11, but you can use whatever key you want. So Shift F11, and you see now you have your own uh, individual window that's maximized, and you can see that it created a new one on the fly right here, right? And if I want to bring it back, I just hit the same hotkey. And it brings it back to its uh, one window and it got rid of the, the second window that we had before. Right, so that's how you would um, maximize it. Now, like I said, this one is uh, better than the other one because you can do this for multiple panes. So if I go back to the first uh, window, right, I can choose another pane. Let's say I want to use this Vim one over here and I can just maximize this one also. And there you go. Now you have. Um, they just created another one on the fly here, right? You have another um, window open. And you can still do your stuff in here if you want, you know? Type some stuff out, blah, 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 if you want to do that. So it's all independent in that way. And uh, we can always go back to the first one here. And if I want to pop out my uh, screencast uh, to its, its own pane, or not its own pane, its own window to maximize it, you can do that also. So you can see that, um, this one it supports uh, multiple panes. That's why I like this one, right? And the good thing about this, let's say you go back to your uh, original one here, right? Um, number one here. You see, it's all blank, right? So if even if you don't know what the hell this one was uh, associated to, you can always hit the hot key from here. So our hot key, we just hit our hot key, and it brings that to our window that we maximized it, which is four. And we always hit our hotkey and it brings it back. And you can do this for the other panes too. So you hit your hotkey, it goes through that window and it brings it back to where it was. And you can do that for the last pane here. So you hit our hotkey and it brings it back where it was. So very cool script if you're a Tmux user. Highly recommend it for maximizing your panes or they call it zooming. So not, it doesn't really make sense to call it zooming but that's what they call it. Anyways. That's it for the script and oh yeah, what up? I forgot to mention how you would set this up. So let me get out of this one. Oops, let me quit. And open up your what is that your Tmux configuration? Right? And what you want to do is put this in there. So basically this is where you would get the script. Just go to his GitHub site. And all you gotta do is, you know bind it to a key that you want. Uh, I use the dash N because I don't want to use the prefix key. You know, you have to hit control B and then I, I didn't want to do that. I just want to hit, uh, what's that, shift and F11 uh, without sending the, the prefix key. And then you run the, the script, all right? Make sure you have uh, permissions for the script and all that. But that's basically it. Just this one line that you need to add into your tmux configurations, right? Your tmux.conf down here. Uh, so that's it. Uh, post you the links in the description and all that. Get out of here.